guys, this is Rebecca with the Sundance School of Writing, and today we are doing the first part in a five-part series. We are going to talk today about English writing saddles. These are the three saddles that we'll be going over. An all-purpose saddle, a jumping saddle, and a dressage saddle. Now let's talk about the different parts of the saddle. The front here is the pommel. From there, we move to the center part, which is called the twist, where the saddle changes shapes, and this is the seat. In back of that, we have the cantle. On this side, we have two D-rings. Underneath the skirt, there are two more D-rings. This is the skirt, and under that is the stirrup leather. This, of course, is what we use to hold up your stirrups with. The extra bit of the stirrup leather sticks out and back and goes through this keeper here. Also underneath the skirt, your stirrup goes around what is called the stirrup bar. When riding, your leg rests on this saddle flap. And if you lift up the saddle flap, underneath you'll get to see the buckle guard, which is this right here, and then the billets that your girth attaches to. And this part here is the knee roll for your knee to rest against as you ride. On the underside of the saddle, you have the gullet or channel. Then this here is called a panel and it is padded. And this flap is either called a sweat flap or the panel. The first noticeable difference of the dressage saddle is the extra high cantle in the back the pommel in the front, and the really long leg flaps. This is so that your leg can be straighter and go down and around your horse to help keep you on. On the jumping saddle, the pommel and cantle aren't as high and the leg flap is shorter and rounder. For the all-purpose saddle, it's a combination of the two with the cantle and pommel being of medium height and the leg flap being of medium length. Underneath the saddle flap are the billets. These are straps that connect to the saddle frame or tree and then will go to the girth underneath the horse's belly. These back two billets connect together on the dressage saddle and this one is a point billet so you end up with two billets hanging down for your girth. On the all-purpose saddle we have three billets as well. The back two billets and the front point billet. Your girth only has buckles for two of these billets. When in doubt, use the back two. Another noticeable difference between the three saddles are the thigh blocks or knee rolls. Dressage saddles have what are called thigh blocks because they're lower on the sides of the saddle and a lot thicker. The jumping saddle barely has any knee roll at all and the all-purpose saddle as always lands somewhere in the middle. Meet Aztec, and he is going to help us talk about where to place your saddle on your horse's back. First, find the back of your horse's ribs and trace them all the way up to the spine. You don't want your saddle to sit any further back than that. In the front, we worry about your horse's shoulder blade or scapula. We don't want the saddle to impede its movement. Place your saddle a little too far forward on your horse's back. Then you're going to slide it back just a little bit so that the shoulders have plenty of room to move. We hope you enjoyed the first part of our five-part series of how to tack up your horse English.